guys, this is Connie, and welcome to Witchcraftin. I am your hostess for Fridays, and tonight I'm going to show you how I make my wax melts. The only things you will need is I have um, a soy based paraffin wax, I've got a few good chunks of those. And the reason why I use these is because they are quicker to melt with heat. If you use regular wax, it tends to take a really long time for the wax tarts to melt. And then you kind of are left there with not so much uh, wax tart melted when your tea light decides to go out. <laughs> so these are, um, they melt pretty fast. Um, if you hear Isis in the background, it's because she's always got to be with me. Um, you will also need some kind of um, molds. I have, I don't know if you can see this very well, probably not. Um, there we go. Um, they're just leaves, fall leaf type uh, molds. And then I also have a pumpkin mold. I know that one's kind of hard to see, but I'm sure you all have seen these. There we go. Um, these are the tarts that I'm going to be using because I'm making fall tarts. Um, you will also need, let me grab my stuff here. Um, I'm, the colors that I'm going to be using are brown and I have um, orange. As you can see, well, it's probably, yeah, orange. <laughs> Where are we? There we go. And those are the colors I'm going to be using tonight. Um, also, I am doing this fairly easy for people who do not have the right equipment to be um, melting down wax. So I'm going to go very frugal. <laughs> and I just take old soda cans and carefully cut the tops off. Just be careful you don't cut yourself because they get really, really sharp. And those are perfect to do what um, I'm going to be doing tonight. So, um, just because I only have two colors that I'm going to be doing, I only cut two of them. And then you will need a bowl of water, or a pot of water, that, and it has to be in a pot that you probably will never want to use again for cooking because, I don't know if you can see in there, but yeah, it gets pretty ruined pretty quick. And just put some water in that. And the scent. Oh, it's stuck on my shirt. See? Dangerous, I tell ya. <laughs> um, the scents that I'm going to be using um, for the pumpkin one, I'm just going to be using... Where is it? I should have got it out. <coughs> where are you? Oh, there it is. I have pumpkin pie spice fragrance. I'm going to be using those for the pumpkin tarts. So... And then the other scents I'm going to be using with this is going to be, I have cinnamon, sweet orange, clove, oil, and I'm also going to be using, if you can find it, um, apple butter. So those are the scents that I'm going to be using for my leaf ones. And what I'm going to do with the leaf ones, um, I'm going to do with pumpkin also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some of the already pre-made orange pumpkin wax with the pumpkin spice scent in here and then halfway and then I'm going to do the other one with the brown wax tart or the wax. Um, it's going to have all these in it. So it's going to be like a, a very fall type smell. Okay, so first off, you want to start your your um, stove going with the water and get it nice and warm. And um, if you've never worked with uh, wax before, you want to put it on a low um, degree. That way, it doesn't get you know too rapid and splash water into your wax. So you don't want that, or burn it, or get it too hot. Okay, and while that's warming up, I just take two of each of these and put them in the can. They fit perfect, as you can see. And I'll take the other one. 
I figured using the cans would be so much easier for a lot of you because I know some of you have told me in the past that you do not have the um, candle making supplies to melt your wax. So this is an easy way to do it. I'm going to take the orange and put it in there and then I'm going to take a brown one and put it in there. Now it also depends on your um, your dye chips that you have. Um, some you might need to add a little bit more in, some are pretty potent and you do not. It just kind of depends on what you have and just test it out if it needs another chip in then throw another chip in. Um, also you can, if you don't have the um, soy based wax or anything, um, you can go to any stores or anything that has like the little votive candles or you know taper candles, anything, pillar candle that has the um, the soy based or paraffin wax type uh, wax and then just bring it home and melt it down and then just remove the wicks or whatever um, after it's melted. So you don't have to like go out and pay an outrageous amount to get a big block of it because sometimes it can be a little expensive. And you have to excuse me that I got my coffee. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let that melt down, and when it melts down, I will come back and show you the next step. Okay, I'm back. I thought I was recording, but I was not, so now I have to go through this again. Sorry about that. Um, what I did is I took the orange out, and I put the pumpkin spice in. I used about five droppers full and put it in there and um, you can do it as strong as you want of course I like mine kind of in the medium I don't like it real real strong but I don't like it really you know too light and um, then I am putting that back over into the hot water and then I'm bringing out the brown wax and I put in a couple of drops of sweet orange um, because it is very overpowering um, so I don't like using too much of it. I also put in the cinnamon and I only put a few drops of that in just because it is the cheap stuff that you get like at Walmart and the dollar store and it's very strong. Um, I also put in about two droppers full of the apple butter and I am putting in the clove oil now and clove oil is pretty strong so I'm only going to put just a few drops of that in there um, and you can put you know some herbs in here if you wanted you know you can put in ground cinnamon or cloves or you know orange pills but um, I don't like putting too much of it in because when it does burn as a tart it tends to get a little um, the smells start getting a little overpowering and kind of overpowers the oil smells and I don't like that. But I am going to put in some pumpkin spice. Just a few little shakes. Just to give it a little bit more of that good old fall smell. And then I'm just going to mix it and just kind of test it out and see what it smells like. Mmm, that smells so good. And then I'm just going to mix it all up, make sure it's all in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick that back over on the pot because um, after you sit it out for a while, it, they start to um, kind of get hardened because it starts cooling off. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just fill up the pumpkin. And the good thing about using these, which you will probably want to use a oven mitt, just because um, the cans can get really hot, but I'm so used to working with hot wax that it doesn't even bother me anymore. But the good thing about this is if you have an oven mitt or, you know, something that won't burn yourself, you can squeeze that can to make it like a little trough so where you can actually pour it a whole lot easier. So I'm going to 
start pouring it and it does make a mess so again that's why I use this little um, like chopping board I got at the dollar store just so that you know it doesn't make as much of a mess because it can make a mess my poor counters have endured so much of that <laughs> um, anyways I'm gonna go ahead and fill all these up and then I will come back and show you what it looks like okay so I went ahead and poured and as you can see they do make a mess <laughs> um, so I'm going to take this aside without trying to make too much of a mess here and let those cool down while I start working on the other one now with this one I am going to go ahead and pour in whatever I have left of the um, orange pumpkin uh, spy spy pie spice and I'm only going to fill it not even quite halfway just enough to get the bottom you know good and covered this is going to be a two-toned um, whoops that one was a little too much that's fine we will fix that right up um, but yeah, this is going to be kind of a two-toned type color. Oops, and it does pour out pretty fast, so... Oh, that one's a little too full, too. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take some of this back out just because I put just a wee bit more than I wanted to. Let's see, where did that other one go? Is it this one? Yeah. Take some of that out. And then I will take the brown and put it on the top once these ones set. That's very important that you let these ones set and get hard before you put the second one on or else they're just gonna all um, kinda blend in together and then they're gonna be this like brownie orange color I mean if that's what you're going for then that's totally cool but that's not what I'm going for so I'm gonna go ahead and let these cool down and then I will be back to do the second set step if I could talk that would be wonderful <laughs> alright I'll be back okay so I am back and as you can see they hardened up and now I'm going to put in my brown so I'm just going to try to uh, not make much of a mess but that's kind of hard to do with wax <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and just pour all these to the top and then I will come back and show you what they look like. Okay, and this is the finished project. <laughs> um, it's pretty simple. It's, it sounds like a lot of steps, but it's really, really, really simple. The only you know thing that's kind of a pain is just waiting for them to harden up. But as you can see, this, if I can get it to focus, is the leaf that has the two-tone. They smell absolutely wonderful. They smell like fall. So, um, let's grab a couple more here. Just this one. And then there is that one and this one <laughs> so yeah and then the pumpkins whoops and this is what the pumpkins look like pretty simple and they smell absolutely amazing so I put them in a little container 
kind of fest it up a little bit with some fake fall leaves and I will be sitting this near my um, my wax uh, tart melter and whenever it needs to be refreshing I'll just pick one up throw it in there and anybody who you know goes by and wants to throw one in there then it'll be out there for them to do and it's a cute little decoration too just make sure you keep them out of reach of children because they do kind of look like something you could eat <laughs> but uh yeah i hope you all have a very wonderful um night and i will talk to you guys next friday bye